Last night here on Siouxland News, we looked at the concealed carry gun laws around the tri-state area and why firearms experts say it's important to get trained on how to use a gun, even if it's not required to get one. Tonight, our Katie Koppel takes us through one of those classes. It's more than just point and shoot. It's a personal responsibility to yourself and those around you. With changing laws and growing debate over Second Amendment rights and firearm safety, I wanted to dig a little deeper into concealed carry laws in the tri-state. To do that, I decided to go through the process of getting my own permit to carry. So we're going to get a good grip. RevTac Firearm Instruction in Jackson, Nebraska offers concealed carry classes for the tri-state area, teaching firearm safety, rules, and regulations to anyone wanting to carry a handgun on their person or just get more comfortable with handling a pistol. We are starting at the very foundation of shooting. We want to teach you the do's and do nots. We want to teach you the magnitude of carrying a firearm, and we want you to make sure that you at least understand how to safely and properly utilize this firearm. I signed up for a class through RevTech's website along with Siouxland News anchor Diana Castillo. Though we had each handled the firearm before, we enlisted the help of my father, who has a permit to carry himself, to go over what to expect. Then it was time for our class. So if we look at this, this is our rear sight. Our day began with a three-hour class where an instructor went over everything from the laws and regulations in each state to the basic mechanics of a handgun. RevTech Firearm Instruction is passionate about uh, quality training through instructors who are certified and experienced in personal defense. From there, it was off to Jackson and our first opportunity to handle our pistols. Still, everything was down to the very basics. You know, the basics are the basics. No matter what firearm you're shooting, um, you know, no matter the person, the basics are the same. We were taught how to properly load and unload our weapon, the proper stance and grip, where to safely point the gun barrel, and a few things unique to their instruction. Some of the things that some other gun agents don't do, you know, drawing from a holster, and, and we work on more real world scenarios that, that we help people with. And we kind of go up the escalator and out. After spending time getting comfortable handling our firearm, we went out to the range for our first opportunity at shooting at a target. What we usually do with them is when, you know, when people are shooting and they're struggling, that's where we kind of try to f drill down into what, what they're doing um, and what they're doing wrong that we can help tweak the basics a little bit. Grover and Holsoff spent time with each of us, answering our questions and helping us adjust and get comfortable. They're very patient with me, um, very thorough with teaching me. Um, it was like a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, so that was great too. You didn't just get pushed to the side. They were. They were great that way as well. I probably won't go into carrying quite right away. I want to do a little more research on it, but this is kind of one of the processes to go forth with it. Now, as the only Nebraska resident in the course, I also had to take a 30-question multiple-choice test before receiving my paperwork to apply for a concealed carry permit. The next step, applying to our respective states to get our official permits. While we don't plan on physically carrying a firearm, we wanted to use this as an opportunity to learn more about firearm safety and laws surrounding concealed carry from trained professionals. And when you talk to people who have carried for a while, you'll hear that they say that they'll actually go out of their way to avoid the fight, not get into the fight. And that's because they're carrying a gun. They understand the magnitude of carrying that firearm for personal defense. Concealed carry classes like those offered by RevTech are for anyone at any skill level. We still have a lot of people show up who point their guns at other people, whether they realize it or not. Uh, we have people still keeping their fingers on the trigger when they shouldn't be. You know, these are things that you, unless somebody coaches you on this, you're gonna continue to do this. And then your kids watch you do this and they do the same thing. And, and this is how firearm accidents are happening, is this carelessness. In Jackson, Nebraska, with Diana Castillo, Katie Koppel, Siouxland News. If you'd like to take a class yourself or see what other firearm instruction and training classes RevTech has to offer, well, we have a link in this story on SiouxlandNews.com. While on our website, you can also check out part one of this in-depth look at concealed carry laws in the tri-state region.